game on the schedule, Bucknell and Rutgers. We know the Scarlet Knights have been very good at home. This is a late afternoon game in Piscataway, New Jersey. Rutgers laying 19, total 132 in this matchup. Matty Cox, we go to you for thoughts and an official play with Rutgers already having pulled a couple of, uh, of big wins at home as well. Yeah, and the thing about this year's Rutgers team, uh, which kind of differs from the Rutgers teams we've seen in recent seasons, they've actually been very good as a large favorite. Right? You kind of think of Rutgers anecdotally as a very gritty, a grindy, defensive-oriented team, and they're still built that way. Uh, but this year, they're doing so with some offensive upside, some offensive firepower, turning defense into offense, a little more pressure on the perimeter. Uh, that's why you've seen some lopsided scores against these mid-majors to start the season. Similar boat here today against Bucknell, who's an improved mid-major. Uh, I think you know a little bit a step up from some of the ones that they blasted earlier in the year. Um, but but it's a bad matchup for Bucknell in the fact that they don't have great ball handling in the backcourt. Um, I think the turnovers could be a real issue and a real outlet for Rutgers to get easy transition points. Whenever you're betting a large favorite, I think you want to identify easy, um, reliable sources of scoring, whether it be you know crashing the glass or getting you know turning defense into offense. Uh, you don't want to be sitting there relying on a large favorite to make shots from the outside. I think in this matchup, um, there, there's those easy avenue to points off turnovers. And Bucknell, they've already played Sunday this week, and they played Wednesday. So they're coming to Rutgers less than 48 hours after a, um, you know, a pretty impressive second-half effort against Richmond, all things considered. Um, tra we talked about how brutal the weather's been. Can't imagine it was a super seamless travel to get up to the New York area. No. The rack will not be you know, rocking like it usually is. It's going to be winter break, kind of a deadish crowd. Um, but I still think the way Rutgers plays kind of manifests enough energy for them to get out and extend this lead uh, and really make a statement here before Christmas. So uh, yep. some early money's come against me, but I like laying the points here with Rutgers. No doubt. And, and again, uh, to your point, there have been a couple of games already canceled in the Northeast. Bucknell is in the region, so they have a chance to get out for the Christmas weekend after this game is played in the afternoon. Uh, Kyle, your thought here on a Rutgers team that blasted Indiana a couple of weeks ago at home, beat them uh, by 15, then lost to Ohio State, came back home and played a game in the 40s with Seton Hall, like the temperature, and lost but then scored 81 on Wake Forest the other night at home. Any thought on Rutgers and Bucknell here if no official play, Kyle? Yeah, I mean, I, I like Matt's play in this one. I think Rutgers is a, diff a completely different team at the rack. They always have been. I know it's a, a bit of a, a spot where they're not going to have that massive crowd, but uh, he pointed out something that I think was a great point, that the forced turnover rate here, uh, Rutgers is seventh and highest forced turnover rate, and Bucknell's bottom – uh, 75 in the country in turnover percentage. So I think there'll be a lot of those quick scores. The other thing is uh, the other way that they get quick points here is 21st and second chance conversion percentage in Bucknell, 332nd on the defensive glass. So definitely two avenues for easy points for Rutgers. I think Bucknell playing two games um, since Rutgers has even played also works right. in their favor because Bucknell's not a really deep team either. So I think Rutgers here can get right uh, win this one pretty handily, and uh, I think this is a pretty good spot for them. They, they're a great defensive team still. They're playing a little bit quicker than they used to, but I think they can lock down Bucknell in this one. All right. Again, for this matchup, uh, Rutgers laying a lot of points. Matty Cox is unfazed by that. He says, give me a present under the tree. Give me Scarlet Just Knights one present. Just one. and lay the 19 in this matchup with Bucknell on a Friday afternoon.